Hello, Monsters of Banner, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part 20, I think. Is it 20? I want to say 20. Is it part 20? It's not 21. It's part 20. 21. Of my Yellow Turban campaign with Huang Shao. Last time, we, we are, well, uh, we managed to fend off yet another attack, but I mean, we're kind of stuck at the moment. No one will peace out with us. So we're kind of being attacked on all sides, which is kind of a problem. Uh, we did hit the Three Kingdoms period. So now we've got the Kingdom of Yan, the Kingdom of Zhao, and the Kingdom of Wu. Now, uh, Gongs and Zans is actually fairly close. And I'm, I'm going to go through what I think is, is my next steps. Because as it stands, we can't just keep rebuffing attacks. I've also installed another mod which should make our garrisons a little bit more beefy, although I'll need to upgrade or downgrade and upgrade again uh, the settlements for that to take effect, if it does, so fingers crossed. We do have some technology coming along that allow me to upgrade my food buildings. So I'm hoping that we should see some better garrisons there, because at the moment I can't leave any one of my settlements to defend itself, because it they'll just get run over. The garrisons are so bad for the yellow turbans that you just can't do anything with it, so... I think Gongsun Zan's my first target. Now, Dong Min, I've never seen Dong Min become one of the Three Kingdoms. Lady Wu is definitely one of the Three Kingdoms, and her, I mean, she, her, her capital's all the way down here, which is fucking miles away. It's the other side of the sodding map, which means it's go. Now, to get to Gongsun Zan, I think what we need to do is we're going to get Wu Huan to basically fend off Yuan Shao with the help of um, Xin Jun. Huang Shao is going to keep Lady Wu busy as best as possible. Meanwhile, we have... I've got Gong Du in this army now, so we replaced whoever was in it beforehand, and Gong Du is here uh, helping lead the army with Shao Chao and uh, Fu Tu. And we've also got, of course, Guan Hai. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use Wu Huan and uh, Shen Jun to basically try and keep Yuan Shao busy. Meanwhile, Gong Du and Guan Hai are going to push north and try and take this capital. Once we've taken the capital, Guang, uh, Gong Sun Zan should drop out. Now, if he has this territory as well, then hopefully that will all become ours, and we basically then got our corner here, and then we can just push the front. At that point, if Huang Shao is... Now, Huang Shao can do a fighting retreat, because if he becomes overwhelmed, we're just going to pull back. There's no point trying to hold this territory. We can't hold it. Um, with just one army. So if we can take this territory, then we can pull back here. More armies can come in support. We can hold them there. We can then push over to Dong Min. Basically, my plan is to try and keep Lady Wu. Now, it means we can't we can't wipe out Sao Pi. So we're going to have to weather those annoying um, schemes just coming in every so often. There's not much we can do about it. Gong Du's not happy, but I mean, what, what the fuck can you do? Uh, you're not happy either. You're his wife as well, aren't you? You're not happy only 13. Basically, the only thing that's keeping people in, in our faction is the number of gardens we've got. So, you know, gardens, the hidden power, along with squats. Squats and gardens, the secret power of the yellow turbans. So, um, I think that's my plan. I mean, as with any plan, it may not survive contact with the enemy, but we do have a couple of armies down here, Yuan Tan and Wu Mao, they are pretty damaged, and we've also got the slight problem of Tao Shuan down here. I don't... It, we might have to try and kill him, but at the moment we don't have the armies down here to do that. So, I mean, basically it's... Yeah, it, it's it's dicey. I don't even know if this is winnable at this point, but I think if we can deal with Gong Sun Zan, then it puts us in a, a much better position. Now, I have done some... Oh, God. You know, I said it wouldn't survive first contact. That's what I meant. Okay, what are you doing? Are you trying to flank around me? Oh, you little shit. Oh, you little bugger. So we might have to pull back to deal with this army. Now, I think they were garrisoning this city. So I mean, we could go and hit that city and maybe pull back again. I, I'm kind of like, all of this territory here is its nice to have, but I don't think I can hold on to it. There's just too much stuff coming this way. I can't deal with it all at the same time. It's it's not an impossible. So I might have to pull back there, which is annoying because I was really hoping to wipe out Sao P or Sao Sao. But of course, Saboteur stockpiles are lean, as is tradition. Yep, okay. Supplies destroyed. Yep, Huang Xiao now has, what's that, 33 turns of that? Yep, fine. Was that, was that it? Jesus. The Kingdom of Zhao. Oh. 
Who the fuck took that? Martung. Martung has taken it. Holy shit. There we go. Right, we've got built to last. Perfect. Living in harmony. Good. Right. Okay. So, what's our next steps? Well, we can reach this army and it is marching. So, killing that would be good. We also need to deal with these armies that are flanking around us, which is kind of annoying. Uh, Gong Du could... We could march him to come and help. Resist corruption and endure hardship. Hmm. Now, do you have... It might be better to pull back. Bend. Do not break. Moving out. I'm still in the radius of the city there. Patience so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull. Towards peace. And I'm going to hope that maybe they see us as an easy target and attack us. So, fingers crossed there. We're going to have to pull this army back because they're trying to sneak around. I think they're trying to come maybe round here. That looks like they're what they're trying to do. So that's, that's a whole thing. Uh, we can upgrade. Right, I do need more. Oh, look at that garrison. That's so much fucking better. Oh, oh living the fucking dream. Right, that's going to give us more money. That's gonna, I think I need more food at this moment in time. We've got a lot, but that's because I've set some people to do some foodie stuff so i'm thinking maybe we go for the extras because it's only 20 extra income isn't it so we're gonna go we're gonna go with that i think Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. indeed right and i'm also going to move oh i'm not at war with you i'm not at war with you i thought i was at war with ludai but i am not so Okay, let's deal with this first. Victory belongs to us. Let's deal with this first. Let's kill... Who's this? Lady Feng. Is that Sao Pi's wife or his mother? Can't tell. Not important. I'll just kill them all anyway. Double time. Now, they do have some units of artillery, but thanks to the power of the squats, they can't see us. Thank God we got that, because without the power of the squats, uh, well, I mean, we'd get pounded by artillery for one, but that wouldn't really be the problem. But we'd, we'd certainly have more to deal with on top of everything else. So let's start off by, wow, Lady Feng gets knocked off her horse. She's only got a bronze sword, which means that she's basically mincemeat and no melee evasion either. And Tian Shao, who is now looking very, very dapper, is taking on the enemy commander, Sao Huayang. This shouldn't, this shouldn't be very... Lady Feng's getting her ass kicked very, very quickly. I am so far deeply unimpressed. Not surprised. Talk all you want. You are still going to die. Uh, ooh. That was unfortunate. I'll get back up. Meanwhile, Huang Xiao has engaged the enemy trebuchet and trying to keep it busy. It's all just kicked one of the bloody things to, to pieces, so good job there. Pei is a little bit surrounded, but Tian Xiao, thanks to the mod that removes the the deep the de it, all the healers have like a debuff to their melee attack for some reason. It's like a hidden one. Well, it's not hidden. I mean, you can see it, but it's, it doesn't explain why suddenly your weapon goes from you know, 30 speed to 15. But anyway, we've removed that, so now he's got full full speed combats. He's a bulletproof monk. Oh, a head came off. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Anyway. Our archers are now in range, whittling down that multiple bolt crossbow. Just an incessant rain of arrows. One of the trebuchets manages to get a shot off, but only the one as the archers then quickly turn their attentions to it. Our 
The enemy army is just getting rinsed. Absolutely fucking destroyed. Well, that's the artillery dealt with. Plus two out of the enemy generals. Some of the cavalry decided to charge us, but we've weathered that no problem. And now we just need to deal with the enemy infantry. How are you going to manage that? How? Are you, what? What's your strategy here? Because you are a strategist. And you're waving a fan around, which is, I mean, lovely and cooling with all the fire, but not really that, that sensible when you're surrounded by enemies and they're coming to kill you. Tian Shao is in the mix with the Sabre Militia, tearing them apart. And of course, they're all poisoned due to the venerable Wu. Not super surprising. It's like Sima Yi is in in a lot of trouble at this point because Huang Shao and Pei have arrived to kick his head in. He's only got 1.4k health. And he's dead. Wait, he just did. Literally just did. What's left of the enemy army is just little little piecemeal bits. Either being shot to pieces by our archers or hunted down by our cavalry. Show them justice. Keep it up. That's right. I mean, winning battles isn't the problem. I can win battles left, right, and centre. It's winning all the battles. That's the awaits. that's the real issue. Clever, fertile, beautiful, philanthropic, dutiful, and one-eyed. What a combo! I'd rather die than betray my cause. Fair enough. They serve no purpose for us. Toodle bit. Okay, we'll get into range of that. I suspect they may be heading for this city. So we're going to go there and lay a little ambush for them. Because laying ambush means they'll actually come and attack. If we just stand next to it, they may back off and then they start massing and then that becomes a big issue. Whereas if we kill them one by one, then, you know, we can, we can basically weather the storm. Now, I would love to get... The land's frugality, because, frugality even, because that will allow us to put Gong Du in a court position. However, we're in such desperate need with satisfaction, I'm tempted to, I mean, reducing character salary would be nice, but I feel like this one, more satisfaction, is just going to be so much more useful for us. I mean, administrative positions would would help with a couple, and I would like some better units, but I just can't, I can't get everything at the same time. I mean, fortunately, we've got really good research rate. Other, I mean, we've got 204. Otherwise, we'd be waiting 14 fucking turns for that. Um, and, you know, oof. Oof. Uh, is there anything we can upgrade around here? I don't think there is. So, I mean, I'm... I don't really want to upgrade this, in all honesty, but... would help with keeping mind you being a farm it's not actually that defensible is it so will it help well no it will help because if we have to fall back to it then it'll give us more of a garrison to help out won't it so let's go with extra food then i'm not 100 percent sure about that but it's it's what we're going to do i'm hoping they will they will try and attack gong do and then of course Guan Hai is there. If they attack the city, then obviously we can we can get Guan Hai's reinforcements. So I think that's generally fine. Uh, you are a sad person, but you're a sad person anyway, so there's no point worrying too much about that. I would actually like to get more peeps, because I could use more generals. Um, who are you? Are you new? Did you turn up? Fuck knows. 
Maybe? Ooh. What ancillary do we get? Uh, a composite bow. Oh, very nice. Okay, well... I'm going to need more peeps. So, I mean, I, I just don't know who that is. Who the fuck is it? You. You must be new. You're a musician. What are you? Concerned, resourceful, populist. Okay, you're just generally fairly happy then. So that's that's not bad. That's okay. I'm tempted to just like send everyone to instill heroism just for like a turn. We've kind of got enough food at the moment, haven't we? Uh, public order is another one we could use. Who can do that? Is it just you guys? No. Who can do that? Is someone already doing that? Ah, it's by populace. It's the yellow... Pur yeah, we need more yellow purple people. So, you know what? I'm gonna... Is there anyone who's... Is there any settlements that are really sad? Mostly concerning these ones. So, yes. Public order's gonna drop there, because of course they've got no supplies left. Chen's not super happy, but I don't really care about that. You're not super happy, but I don't really care about that. You're actually pretty happy. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I mean, we could... I guess we'll have a rebellion, but is that really a problem for us? You know what? It's actually bringing quite a lot of money, so... Okay, inspire the populace. Do that. And we will send... You... To do that. Because we could use more peeps, so... Because at some point I'm going to need more armies. I mean, we could get another army, but I'm. <sighs> mm -hmm. This is very. This has to be very, very. And plus, Guan Hai is again low on supplies because he's in a place where no supplies are. Okay, you're running around to Dong, which is fine. You're sailing, which is not necessarily fine. But you should be... I mean, you, you can't have that many supplies. In theory, anyway. Empire form for coalition. Okay. Han Fu. Kim of Yan leads the coalition. Fine. So, who the fuck's Han Fu? Don't know. You've declared war on Dong Min, though. That could make my life a little bit easier. I could take some Dong Min liberated Kong Zhao. Okay, cunning scheme. Uh... So you've got minus 25% melee evasion. Is that everyone? Or just you? Not 100% sure. And everyone's declared war on Ma Tung. Good. Fuck that guy. Fuck all of them, in fact. Okay, your supplies are going down yet again. Because you've got this goddamn logistics impeded bullshit. Which is bullshit. Now, you two don't like each other, do you? So although you've cozied up, that's not actually a big the problem for us. Heavy. Oh, there's Han Fu. The with... Where the hell do you live, mate? I am not in the mood. Noted. Where the f oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. My aim is precise. Note right, good. On the march. That army still annoying enough to cause me issues, but as long as they're do as long as they're dicking about, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now I could go and kill Sao P, which is Which feels good. You're dying of supplies. Oh, what to do? Right, well, first things first, let's go and kill these dickheads. Standard studs. I'm going to let Guan Hai lead the attack. Because I need him to take their supplies once they're all dead. Okay, you're going to run away, which is fine. You're going to run away again, which is fine. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. 
And what's your... F okay, so you've just got Warriors of Yi, have you? And G... I mean, basically, not particularly... I could fight with both our forces, or I could Knight fight, because that would reduce their morale. Not... I mean, their morale's actually pretty fucking good. So it probably won't help all that much, whereas having just a lot of... a lot of boys probably will help. Let's just take a lot of boys. Normally we only have three officers, now we've got six, which means that, uh... Twice, twice the power. Especially against one army. Gongdu is already fighting one of the enemy generals, and this unit of daring infantry have been a little bit too daring, and are about to get their ass kicked. Oh dear. Yeah, they're, they're having a terrible time. So Gongdu is fighting the enemy commander. He is a level four goon. No problem there. Yao Feng is now fighting the other... Is it another commander? Yeah, another, another commander. He's a level 5 goon. And then Xiao Chao is fighting the level 1 sentinel super goon. Not super because he's really good. Super goon because he's, like, really goony. The rest of our generals are dealing with the mounted lance militia. And here comes the rest of the army. Our army is moving up to assist... Poor old uh, Fu Tu. She doesn't have. She has no melee evasion and not much armor. I mean, thirty percent is not bad to be fair, but still, it's not. It's not much. Gong Du is wrecking his opponents. I gave him an axe because it had the same armor piercing damage and also some extra damage on top of that and was faster. So, I mean, I like Gong Du with his big old, big old mace. Oof. But uh, I felt like the axe was a better idea. So, one general down. Come on, Yao Feng. Two generals down. It really isn't. It's, uh, it's not a massive problem. And... Jesus. Alright, fair enough. Three generals down. Okay, well that's all the, the enemy generals. Super fucking dead. Fu Tu's a little bit of trouble. She is surrounded by pokey spear boys. That's why we're bringing up some assistance in the form of our cavalry and infantry and archers. So our infantry now moving in. Our cavalry. Our generals also moving in. Here come the cavalry charge. There's arrows raining from above. Infantry charging from the front. Cavalry from the rear. It's... And all their generals are dead, which is no surprise that it starts a little bit of a rout. Let's get Fu Tu out of there, because uh, she has taken quite a bit of damage. But there we go. Full-scale routes. Most of the enemy units now fleeing. The balance of power crashing into our favour. Lots of enemy dead bodies. And very few casualties on our side, apart from Fu Tu taking an absolute beating. But, you know, she'll, she'll be fine. Don't worry about her. Short and sweet. Voice cannot be silenced. Uh, you're level four, tranquil, ascetic. You're clumsy, though. I'll release they you. Only for their You've got a wood dog. I've always wanted one of those. Grant them dignity and death. Ugh, only eight supplies. Garbage. They shall seed all to us. Barely worth the efforts of killing you. Right. Can we still reach you? No. Destroy corruption. But uh, I'll probably use probably lose Dong. I can't be everywhere at the same time. This is the issue. I could get another army though, couldn't I? Uh no, not there. Here. Lean. I want to raise an army at Lean. Yes. So we can get Zhang Kai 
Resist corruption and endure hardships. Just to basically chill I'll there the for people. and just recruit some some lads. They are trash. So we're going to go for more reclaimers, I think. And something like that is probably generally fine. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that is what I wanted to do. Sure. Let's okay, good. So I don't think they are. I'm going to put you down there. And then we're going to bring you down here. Just re- uh, that's fine. If I fight every battle, I'll be here for fucking ever. Righteousness won today. Hello, Zhang Hong. Look at that. You are bright, tranquil. You're level five, loyal. Yeah, you're definitely someone who needs to die. They serve no purpose for us. And I'll take the replenishment. Thanks. And strike true. Get the fuck out of my house. Okay, now, after all that, is there anyone who's willing to, like, peace out with me? Oh, Dong Min is. Why must we speak? Well, basically because I want some shit from you. If I'm going to... I mean, I don't even know why you declared war on me to start off with, so this is basically just... This is just... Money for my... I mean, everyone's going to hate the fact that I peace out with him, but... Pff. This is just... Your terms are acceptable. Good. This is just because you declared war on me and then didn't do anything about it. If you left me alone, wouldn't have been a problem, would it? Nay? No? You dick. Okay, Zhao Yun can't go anywhere. Well, he can... He probably can run away, actually. You need to be stopped. China. Indeed. What do you have? You can have something better. You could have one of those. Is that better? It's faster. So let's go with that. Otherwise, I mean, that's generally fine, I guess. I think. Yep, yeah, okay, sure could actually get you a little friend, but this is annoying because they they should be fucked, but there's not much I can do about that. You're still losing supplies. Jesus. Who are you? Kugong. A one-eyed bandit. I see. Well, there we go. You are. You have bandit units, so that does that does scan. My plan of going north has been stymied just because they're throwing so much shit at me. But maybe I can, if I can deal with you and Xiao here, and then all those armies that are also now there. Oh, they've got so much shit they can throw at me. That's the problem. I can't deal with it all at the same time. I'm so busy defending myself, I can't actually do anything to attack them. Well, ambush failed, but that's fine. That's gonna, you know, if you if you push one of those G through someone's head, pulling it out is gonna cause a lot, lot of damage. Uh, your foo, Wu Mao. Oh, Wu Mao. Of course, Wu Mao. Yeah, you're dead. Their spirits are beyond redemption. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. At least we do have some garrison. So we might be okay. I still don't think our chances are very good. But they're better than if we just had the, the shitty two peasant spearmen and two units of horse archers. Which is a Fuck, why? Why? I mean, this this garrison is, you know, it's not great, but it's fine. We get some reclaimers, which at least, you know, can tank. As it is, we've got... Th oh, then they've got fire arrows. Perfect. 
And we do have a lot of towers, though. But we've also got a lot of openings. So, I mean, that's that's always been a problem with me. Too many openings. Need to close some of those openings down. But at least they're getting, you know, picked off by these these towers. I mean, they, they don't do a huge amount of damage, but they're just incessant. You know, just picking off a couple of units at a time, but throughout the battle, that really does add up. I'm hopeful we can hold this entrance. If we can maybe push them back, then we may be able to then reposition these units to lend some assistance to the, to the other entrances. I mean, they're taking a lot of damage. They, they are defenders of Hebe, though, and Yi. Someone said the Hebe GBs. But these, I mean, these guys are pretty good. And our reclaimers, not the best. As, I mean, they are, there's not many of them, to be fair, and they are getting whittled down. All the time, but they do have this Jan Mijan infantry, which are going to probably cause a lot of damage to us. They've also got an enemy sentinel there, who is only level four, but he can still do some damage to an infantry unit. So we have to be a little bit cautious there. Meanwhile, two of our towers are down, but they're still taking a lot of damage. If we get a look at the uh, number of units, the enemy units have dropped by at least about 300. So they are taking significant damage as they advance which means that at least if we lose the city it should be fairly easy to retake with any luck anyway the enemy unit flees It'd be nice if we still had our towers but we still have two towers here We've got two towers over here which should still fire and two towers over here. So basically it creates a little bit of crossfire. These units now are inside that range so they're not getting hit as much as I would like. The enemy sentinel has arrived. Uh oh, the reclaimers are not super happy. They are taking a lot of damage. Oh, but we've, we've almost held. There's so f No! No, stay and fight you bastards! Ah, crap. We lost a tower. That's bad. Another intro. And that, that, we've got no infantry units to spare. The reclaimers on this side. Trying to hold the line. Who the... F what? Who the fuck is shooting at my own units? What the fuck is this bullshit? Is it you guys? No? You guys? Peasant archers? Fuck knows. Anyway. I mean, the enemy troops... They've taken... So, I mean, they're down to 400 of a 1,000. But unfortunately, their quality is just a lot better. Plus, they've got these general... They've pushed through. Yuan Shao is a bit of a, a bit of a terror. And he has, we've, we've thrown some peasant spearmen into the breach to try and hold them back. It's not going to last very long. They've broken through this, this entrance. I mean, we are... Maybe retaking the tower a little bit, but that we've got nothing to deal with the enemy generals now. That's going to be the main problem, and we've just got nothing to do it. Just throw our units in to try and hold them back for just a few more minutes longer, just to do a little bit more damage. I mean, we've we've done very very well, in my opinion. They. have a lot of their units are, are super damaged, which means that dealing with this army afterwards, mopping it up, should be okay. But hey, at least at least we had a chance. At least we had something more than two units of, of peasant spearmen. For that, I am grateful. Our warriors run. Well, we lost the city, but we took a shit ton of them with us. And in theory, that means they shouldn't be able to resupply, because they shouldn't have any supplies. And where the fuck are you going? Because they shouldn't have any faction support in that city. So they shouldn't be getting any supplies. In fact, their supplies should be going down. Plus, they lost a lot of units on, on men. So they, in theory, I feel like they are, oh, for fuck's sake... 
Uh, well, at least those guys declared war on each other. They lost Dong. So, are you replenishing? Yeah, of course you are. Minus 12% population. Oh, I suppose you do have Dong, don't you? So that that would actually make sense. Okay, Fane. Oh, for fuck's sake. And Gong Du's now got minus 25% money evasion. Lovely! Sure. Uh, which one of these is this? I can't remember. Is compassion? Is compassion the right one? Does it tell us when we get a new purse? No. Well, as soon as we get clay pig, jade rooster, lovely. Who did we get? That was the wrong one. I've got lots of you bloody healers. I don't need more. Unobservant, composed, and obstinate. Okay, fine. I don't... Right. I'm kind of feeling like... I, I had a plan at the start. And I was like, okay, we can just get an opening. And I don't I don't have an opening. I've just got more and more and more armies pouring in from every fucking direction. I don't think this is winnable. I think I'm in such a bad position. And every... I mean, I know they've started declaring war on each other. But I can guarantee, fucking guarantee, they're not sending any armies after each other. They're all just throwing them at me. And I've I've I just I've fought so many battles, just time and time and time and time again, and every single time it's There's just more. There's just always more. For China. Persevere. All right, fuck you. From the roots to heaven. Right, you're dead. You're dead. Everyone's dead. Prison. Get fucked. Return them to their kin. Remain pure. Get out of my house. Outwards and on. All right, we can defend Kai. We can probably even retake Dong. Strike through. Genuinely can't be fucked to fight it, so I'm just going to delegate it. Despite the fact that's going to probably do a lot of damage, no, it's not too bad. You're dead. Hope you enjoyed taking Dong for the 30 seconds you had it. You big prick. You are. I mean, don't are, don't we have actually good garrisons now? Like we've got. I mean, we, we, we can deal with that, surely. The fact I'm going to have to go chasing you around, though, is an absolute pain in the ass. One route. Maybe if I just ambush or, I don't know, camp up or something, try and resupply anything, whatever, who cares. Oh, everyone leveled up. Good, so that's just going to make you more grumpy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. More income from industry. Yes. Wait. Research rates, I think, might actually be more important at this point. Because, God knows, I could friggin' use it. Small battle speed. It's not really that useful. Commanding shout is pretty good. Minus corruption in local province. Yeah, well. Okay, let's go commanding shout. So, you're replenishing. We've got more armies the mightiest trees in the north. The they don't look that bad. I can reach you and you're marching. So, let's kill you. Just because... And if we're going to lose, we're going to lose Chen, so... Celebration is Get out of my territory. Everyone gets executed. No purpose for us. Everyone gets mother-chuffing executed. That's just... Raw 
It's just who I am. Right, right at this point in time, that's who I am. Maybe if we... Wait. Go here. Towards peace. Patience we'll probably lose Chen. We don't have a garrison here. Uh, Fu Tu though. Fu ah, Fu Tu's out though, isn't she? She's an army, so she. <sighs> okay, I guess the plan still stands that we try and aim to to deal with Gong Sun Zan first, but. We just need an opening, and at this point, oh, I could abandon the south. But I kind of need the food now. And Lean is once more with no supplies, which means all the population is fucked off again, as is tradition. Uh, I could maybe get a garden here. This would give me more slots, which I do need more slots. We're also making quite a chunk of change here, although it goes up and down depending on, you know, when they reduce all my supplies and then I hemorrhage population. Uh, so I could upgrade this, but it doesn't really, I don't really see the point. This isn't making as much money, it's all peasantry income. It's not to say we can't make more here, I guess. So... Let's upgrade you. And I guess we'll worry about the incessant... And I mean, where the fuck are you? Oh, you're, oh that's Lu Chong, isn't it? That's where you're from. I don't know where Han Fu's come from. Where the fuck does Han Fu come from? Lu Chong's just turned up, which is annoying. Maybe I can... What is it, Kerr? I think Kerr's a bit rude, to be honest. What about a non-aggression pact? I can... Look, I bet I've got some shit armor I don't need. What about... How about look, some lovely robes? Leather? Okay, that's, that's looking pretty good. Uh, what about... A heavenly sword? Because I don't really want those. And... A noble sword? Jesus, Really? How much money am I going to have? Because if it's a lot... Oh, fuck this. I can't be bothered. You know what? Fucking declare war on me. Why not? Everyone else has. Just join the party. Why not, you big bastards? But that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.